tell me everything about what you've done so far with this. Uh, with this particular uh, comic, uh, well, first I could say I'm a, I'm a professional illustrator and graphic artist, and that's what I do 100% every day. So I sit and draw every day. And um, this book uh, is something that I did and completed uh, between February 2020 to October 2020. And uh, I didn't know really how I managed to do it because I had my regular clients, of course, and it was a crazy year, the pandemic year and all that. But it's also been a seven year project where I was sent uh, from Steve, Steven Saville, who wrote the, uh, the book and he had, he had written a, a short novel. So he sent me and said, wouldn't it be a perfect time to just do something together? And I said, okay, send it to me. So I, I read it and I loved it instantly. So I said, let's do it. And every year I thought, I, I sent Steve some pictures of what the work was going on, but every year something else came in. It was vacation or it was work and paying clients and all that. So for seven years, nothing really happened. I really felt bad and I said to myself, shit, Steve's not gonna believe me anymore. And he actually just confirmed earlier today that he thought maybe it should take at least 20 years for me to do something about this. But the thing is, the year of the pandemic, not because of the pandemic, it was just a coincidence. In a horrible year like the pandemic, in February, I started working with, the, with this graphic novel, Ashes, and it's a love story. Uh, a love story in a pandemic. Uh, it, was, it felt really well, well placed, so to speak. I mean, it's perfect in a way. Who it's, doesn't need love? Who doesn't need love in a year where people are dying all, all over and suddenly I got to do this comic. So, <laughs> Sorry. I know. It's, it's a love story in which uh, the, the, the main woman is dead. I know. <laughs> Who I doesn't didn't, need love with a dead For the love? viewers, I didn't want to say that actually in the beginning someone is died, is dead. But I don't want to say that because I want you to read it as a love story. Yeah. But the thing is, the per one person died, I won't tell you who. One person died, and from there, it's a love story you will love. And it's uh, something that I fell in love with instantly. So, uh, uh, it was a wonder, it was absolutely wonderful to do this. And I mean, if, if I just flip the pages, uh, for anyone who actually see this, uh, it's one thing that I think is kind of cool and it's funny. We made a soundtrack. It's on YouTube, so if you look for Ashes the Graphic Novel, you can actually listen to the music. The first. The first 10 songs was the, the songs that I listened to uh, when I was uh, making this comic and one in particular was Mark Knopfler's version of uh, What a Wonderful World. That was like on instant repeat and uh, it really helped me doing this work and uh, the other 10 were uh, songs that Steve loved and it really tells in a way the uh, emotions that we, that we had when he wrote his, his novel that was published in an anthology I think. And then for me to work this, uh, work with this one, it was, uh, I, I, as you can see, I like to talk, so I won't talk too much. I was going to say, that's all of the yeah. battery yeah. stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, no, but it was wonderful. And illustrators I mean, talk and the writers do you also talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, we're, we're very quiet. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we're the quiet we guys. We don't talk yeah. much. It's, yeah. not, it's not like I've been on your channel before. No, never. No. Not for 94 minutes. No. <laughs> <laughs> Which is lovely, by the way. Edit it down. Let's cut something off. <laughs> no. <laughs> so anyway, Steve, uh, yes, you've been you? behind the, uh, the words of this uh, story. Yeah. Uh, I mean, what Stefan sort of touched on there, we used to be neighbours and Right as I was moving away, we thought, well, what can we do to guarantee we have to stay in touch? Let's work on something together. So I sent him a story that I'd written that I thought might be quite nice. Um, and it's one that I'm very proud of. It was in a tribute to uh, Gene Wolfe, a uh, science fiction writer. It was in an anthology of those stories in tribute to Gene. And it's something that I, I have an awful fondness for because let's say 50% of it is real life and then 50% of it is utterly made up but the real life stuff actually probably feels more made up than the made up stuff um, without giving it all away you know because obviously people have to go and buy it and that's the whole magic of 
the internet, order it online. Now, um, I mean, we, we've known each other for... Since 2005? Yeah. Yeah. So a long time. Yeah. We are, we are two persons, people who like to go away and sit at a coffee shop and, and a cafe and see the work. And that's actually how we got to meet. Yeah, he kept stealing my seats. Yeah, I, I, I claim that he stole my seat. I had two seats, so he always claimed he stole my seat. He's like, I had two seats. He's yeah. Like, yeah, one of them was mine. Yeah, one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and then actually that's how we got to know each other. And for some reason I turned to him and said, he was reading a book instead of working, and it was a Lee Child, and I said, is it any good? And then we started talking about the book, yeah. which eventually went to us becoming very friends. close friends. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, it's fun. Um, in, in terms of Ashes, it's... To, I'll, I'll give you a very small piece of the story. Basically, when I first came over to Sweden, uh, I, I met my, my then wife, we... Uh, I proposed to her in London, in, in Covent Garden, and, and when I proposed, it was all very romantic, obviously, because it's a proposal. So then fast forwards three or four years, and we're walking through Prague, and we're going over the, the Charles Bridge, and they've got all the artists on the side, and we see a painting, and it's a painting of me proposing to my wife. And it's the strangest, like, huh? And looking and looking, and it's like, no, it really is us. And talking to the artist who painted it, and he said that he was staying in the hotel, and his wife had just told him she was pregnant, and they were gonna have their first baby. So he'd taken a photograph outside in the street of what was going outside, because he wanted to remember it forever. A really important moment in his life. And it just so happened that that was when we were proposing. And we bumped into them on a bridge, miles from anywhere. Um, so it was a... The way my brain works, that's the perfect start to a story. You don't know where the story's going to go from there, but there's something magical about it. Um, so when I was asked to write the, the story for the Gene Wolfe book, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to write this story that's been in my head for years. Um, you talk about how long it takes for a story to go from being an idea to a finished thing. I probably had the idea for it in 1998. So from idea to finished graphic novel would be, uh, I'm not good at maths, 21 years? Yeah, something like that. That's a good number. That's a good number, that's for a fact. That's yeah. a big number. Yeah, can I just mention that I, I remember reading, of course, that, that part of the book that Steve talked about, and that is, that's amazing. I mean, it's a true story that seems like for, unreal in a way, but it's also something that captured me when I, my attention a lot when I made this book, uh, this graphic novel, and, and that was actually the beginning, and I think that the text, what it says there, if you can just zoom in here, in this, and that really got me going and they set the whole tone for the whole graphic novel and um, there's um, well i won't go into too many details maybe talk too much then but about it but the thing is it's it's uh it really really hit the string on a guitar if that is a good expression to make a uh, well but but it was i love that i i think it's 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 a it's wonderful uh, it's a wonderful story it's also one that I've had quite a few like emails and, and, and fan letters about. Yeah. And every woman who has read it basically says, "You bastard! You made me cry." Yeah, yeah, I remember you said that. Yeah. And it, it's it's really common that I make them cry. It it is a proper love story in the "you will weep" yeah. kind of love story, which, if you know me, you know that's it's not like the other stuff. It's a little different. Yeah. <laughs> It's very different, yeah. Super, thank you for a very uh, awesome talk. Thank yeah. you. We'll see you and thank you. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. As, yeah, and as they say on CNN and all that, thank you for having me. Yes. <laughs> I never had to say that.